Welcome to another edition of At Home on the Range. This is Barbara Venezia, and along with my partner, John Crean, we've been cooking up some wonderful fun in the kitchen for over a year now on Local Cable. And we have you to thank for our success. This evening, I'm going to take off my chef's hat and step out of my ditzy character for a moment to give you a behind-the-scenes look at our show. Many of you have been watching us since we started on cable June 1st of 1992. A lot has happened to us in the past year, and we're now getting national attention. But it all started back in the garage with John and I and Joey Bishop, who named our show. In 1991, we experimented for one year before premiering on cable. As producer of At Home on the Range, the cooking show for the deranged, I'm often asked how we came up with the concept. It was quite by accident. John and I met when I interviewed him for my then show, Networking USA. He said he always wanted to do a cooking show, and I said I've always wanted to learn how to cook. After our first fire, I knew we had something unique here. And after these commercials, I'll give you a look at some of our very first experimental shows that have never been seen on TV before. Forgot to peel this onion. Oh, yeah. okay. Now, well, I thought this was a new should, method. Yeah. <laughs> no, it should. No, we're going to be all right. We're going to be all right because yeah, that outer when you peel the onion, you know, just fall right, right off. Kind of music. Da, yeah. da, 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 da. <laughs> Ra, 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 da, ra, ra, da, ra, That's peeling music, John. You, you know, Joey, Joey you, came, you came over here to eat with us, and now, yeah. whoops, you were in the kitchen here, and yes. you're, you're totally breaking my concentration because I, this onion should have been peeled before I cut it into eights. And, and, you uh, sent him into the vapors. We're, we're ma but that's the way it is. We yeah, don't want that. He's done well. I'm very influential. Yeah, you are influential. <laughs> okay. Okay, so much for that onion now. That's all right. Now that's okay. all right. Now we got to. Uh, now, what quantities are we using? You've got one medium sized onion and uh, one red pepper and one green pepper. Yeah, and the onion's cut in eight pieces, right? And the onion's cut in eight pieces. Is there any reason for eight pieces? Yeah, it comes out even. And now you can now you can smell the garlic and all that good stuff and the sausage coming off of yeah. that. Well, it's tough because Barbara smells pretty nice here too, you know. So I'm getting a whiff of perfume and I'm getting a whiff of you and your chicken. Joey, Joey, you and I are too old for that kind of thing. You know that. What? To, 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 to en enjoy the aroma of a, a woman? No, no, I guess not. I guess not. I'll, John, I'll, it's up I'll to you. If you want to smoke chicken, then man, that's <laughs> your privilege. That. I'd rather smell so We're going to go with a little salt on here again. A little, a little salt. salt. <laughs> that's right. Well, no, you've got to have a little salt. You know, the reason for this, is Barbara, is he's got a house full of salt, and he's going to get a little, bit of, of, and a little bit of the crushed pepper. Now, this is jambalaya, you know. And, jambalaya. And, and you're supposed to. It's got to be spicy, right? It's got to cover up the taste of the of the, of the weak old shrimp, yeah. Right. So. Uh, no pepper, though. No pepper. Just, no the, pepper. Red pepper. just the red just pepper. Just the red pepper. Hotsy, hotsy. Now, now we're just about there. Oh, we are just about there now. Now, we are almost there. Mm, that does smell great. Yeah, that is great. Yeah. Now, what we're going to do is... Now, we're going to let this go another minute. We can let this go a little yeah. bit more. But while we're doing that, I'll just, just leave that there for just a second. I'm going to get out the little, the little pan here, and we're going to put some, some hot water in here. No, we're not going to put the hot water in there. We're going we're to measure the hot water because this... Recipe has a little bit of a, a little bit of um, rice how, in it. How much hot water are you going to put in there? Three quarters John? of a cup. Three quarters of a cup. Yeah, exactly. Three quarters of a cup, right yeah. there. Now we're going to put this over in this other burner, and I hope that doesn't burn you, Joey. I, uh, no, it's okay. No, it's all right because that's a yeah, okay. Right. Now, wh why are we preparing this water for what reason? For the rice. We're gonna, oh, we got rice coming. Rice there. goes in there. That's yeah, right. You know, the rice they grow rice down yeah. by New Orleans. Uh, in fact, I have some very good friends in Lafayette. Uh, Louisiana that uh, grow rice. They got yes. they got very rich growing rice. Yeah. And let's not forget Uncle Ben is a credit to his rice. Don't say Uncle Ben. How you doing? Nice to be here. It's Barbara. nice to have you with us. Hi, Sam. John, John, my friend. You gonna cook something for us in a moment? Yeah, we're going to. Well, I guess Barbara just said we're gonna we're gonna make some uh, chicken noodle soup for Good. starters, and then some poached salmon with some uh, little red potatoes and some baby carrots, Good. and uh, uh, then a dessert. Uh, we're gonna do a uh, pineapple souffle. Wonderful. So I'm going to get started. We're going to get the potatoes on first because they take the longest to cook. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've How long got, do they take to cook? We've got, we've got Longer the, than this show? Well, and, no, 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 they don't. Actually, this is going to be done while this show goes in real time. Oh, well, That's why I'm going to cut these in two because they cook faster if they're yeah. cut in two. If, they, yeah. if it was a whole those, potato. What are those called? Little red potatoes? These are little red potatoes. Little red potatoes. Little, little red potatoes, right. And now, do they taste different than regular brown yeah, potatoes? Oh, mercy, yes. Absolutely, yeah. 
These are the ones you can eat the skins. Yes, and right. that's what we're going to do. Good. Now, and, and you know, before the show, I did, I did wash these thoroughly. That was my so, next question. Yes, I did. I did. Did you wash your hands, John? No, but I washed the potatoes. <laughs> oh, well, that's the main thing, I guess. <laughs> so anyhow, we, we've got that little one. I'm not going to cut that little one in two because it's small enough. It's going gonna, it's gonna to cook quickly. And uh, so we're just going to uh, put these little puppies in this... Uh, pan here and put a little okay. water on and then Stan if you'll turn on one of those burners over there just turn sure it on thing. there do you know how to do that like, oh anyone just pick your pick well, one how about knowing you I better turn on one to the right that's good yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah this is Republican Mr. territory yes. you know Mr. Crane is a conservative <clears throat> person. let's put it on this one up a little here. to the right of Attila the Hun actually. <laughs> and then and then and then and a little to the left of the Nixon Museum Stan, right Stan oh, pay attention yeah, pay attention <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now we're okay, good. Okay, 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 that's going now. Okay. Now, the next thing that takes the, 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 the next longest. Is... She sees good, yeah. Will she realize that this is not looking wonderful? Hey, she is a great cook, you know. She's uh oh. Gonna, she's going to know this is awful. <gasps> uh oh. Yeah, yeah. Well, anybody can tell this is awful. I'll tell you one thing about it, though, it's good. Really? Because it's got all that sugar and butter and... Well, you know, looks are not everything. Boy, you can say that again. <laughs> all right. Now, we're going to leave it naked on the sides. Okay. Because the camera's up there and nobody will ever know. Okay. Now, you know what I've got? I've got 100 candles right here. Yep. There's 50 there, and there's 50 there. Why aren't you going to write, like, happy birthday? Oh, right yeah. On? Yeah, oh, that, I almost forgot the important thing. Jeez Louise. Now, I made this... Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, like the cake came up with this it. afternoon now I made this and this is ye this is yellow frost it's the same stuff as this yes. and I put it in this thing here because this is kind of a neat thing that I bought at the store uh -huh. when during the big war I, I would put this a, a piece of butcher paper down here and roll it up like this and put the stuff on roll it up cut the end off but this is really high tech here uh -huh. so we'll just put a little edge around this huh look at this look at this wow all hey, right. I think that that edge makes all the difference. Well, sure it does, yeah. Oh, look These here. These look like firecrackers instead uh -oh, of candles. Oh, we're getting a little... Well, a hundred candles, you can't really, you know, spread them around much. You yeah, but you know what? Yeah, no, okay. We could have done... We can put... Should we put... You know, it's staring at me. Look at that, Barbara. It is... It is it's here. It's 100. Terrific. Let's do that. We it can won't put stand that up. in the middle. It won't stand up. One, oh, isn't it? And they're the right color too. Hundred. They're the just right gotta color. Just got to move over these guys. They're, are they really going to stand one. up? I can't believe. It. Let me put some of this stuff on the put bottom. Put some of this stuff on the to bottom. Hold them of up. It. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, this Don't is. Don't you think though you should have wrote Myrtle's name? Well, we're going to do that. How do you spell Myrtle? Let's see. M Y R. M. Y. Uh huh. So wow. When, so when that comes out of the oven, this is what it's going to be like. Doesn't Where that look wonders good? never cease. Oh boy! So now we've got to uh, serve this up. Okay. So let's uh, get it over here, and uh, we do have a couple of dogs. I hope. Now that was some TV magic, but we uh -huh. have it's, it's all cooked, ready to go, and so we're going to put it in our little our little dishes here. Now normally when this is cold, see it's still pretty warm because we took it out of the oven. Do we serve it cold or hot? Cold. You should serve it cold. Okay. And then when it's cold, you can just tip this upside down. But I remember the flan, so I'm not going to do that. Thank and, you. <laughs> and it, uh, I want this dog food So we're, gonna, we're just going to leave it in here, and we're going we're gonna to do it like this. Well, you know what? I would imagine that it's a little bland. And other than that, it's not too bad. Yeah, it's, yeah, it would be a little bland because we don't have, no spices in don't it. have too many spices. But dogs aren't big on spices, so let's uh, now if we can get this out of here. Yeah, all right. Do you better put a little ketchup on it for me? I don't think so. Dogs aren't dogs. Dogs don't like ketchup, I guess. All right, now. now so really, we're gonna get to meet your dog. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. You know, it's not really too bland. It's not bad at all. I'll pass on the oh. dog food. <laughs> oh, boy. No, it's actually pretty good. Mm. There are limits. I'll go with you. <laughs> uh, no, with a little ketchup, this would be wonderful. Okay. All right. So, now let's go out and get our, our guests, and we'll see it's the how It's the first time we've had guests, and you invite dogs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go, let's go do it. Okay, and these are our guests, yeah. Bogart okay. and Jack. All right. Are you, are you ready for this, Jack? 
Here we go, boy. Oh, hear about that. How about that? Oh, looky, they're eating it. Hey, they're really eating it. Oh, <laughs> I can't can believe you, this. Can you believe this? Look at that. Oh, uh-oh. 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 <laughs> I, I think we have an irate guest. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. He sings. Oh, he's loving it, yeah. Is that pretty good, Jack, huh? Oh, he liked it. You want to give oh, him another yeah. piece? No, this is going to be plenty. This is going to be plenty. Oh, okay. If you'd okay. like a copy of this recipe, you can write to us here. You know, actually, this recipe I, I, I took out of a good housekeeping, or Better Homes and Gardens magazine. Yeah. Now, this is our flan. We didn't talk about that. So, well, now, you finished it. Now, well, we put it in the oven. This, uh, so this is the one I did this afternoon. Now, you've got to be quick to do this. Oh, you just got it all over yourself. <laughs> what did I get on myself? You're full of that stuff. Now, isn't this gorgeous? Look at here. <laughs> What's the matter? <laughs> no, but look at the flan. Isn't that gorgeous? It's lovely. Isn't it's that beautiful? lovely. It's Isn't a little that... lopsided. But what's well, we'll straighten. We'll straighten it up. Can you can you move it? Can you? Well, I don't know. Shove it this way. <laughs> <laughs> we can with the um, with well, the spatula. Just, can't we just kind of move it this way, <laughs> like putty? <laughs> well, with anyway, a, you get the idea. With a spatula. <laughs> no, we were Ow. we were. We were doing well. I give up. <laughs> Barbara, you, you always get in such a hurry towards the end of the show. <laughs> all right. All right. God, that's nice. Oh, boy. Oh, oh. oh boy. You know, wow. we, we, we shouldn't have drinking before the show. Wow. Well, welcome to the garage here at the Village Cream and another edition of At Home on the Range. We have, I got, the greatest viewer mail. It better be quick because we've got a lot of stuff to cook. Okay. Can I read viewer mail and maybe you can start something? No. Okay. <laughs> this, is a, this is a fax from Mr. Blackwell. You know Mr. Blackwell? It says, and he faxed to John. It says, Dear John, your story, he's talking about the LA Times story. Frankly, I was furious. Why not me? <laughs> Talent will out, and you really are funny opening a ketchup bottle, kind of like the Queen of England peeling potatoes. <laughs> it's fantastic and well-deserved. Fabulous, fabulous Blackwell and Spencer. So we thank Mr. Blackwell for faxing us. And... All right. <laughs> In the... Uh... In the oven right here, hiding, is what I made this afternoon. Oh, boy, oh, boy. And this is really good stuff. Turn the fire well, off. Well, I'll don't be the, the judge of that. This is really good stuff because I uh, Well, this is I a little thicker. Some... Well, let's just try it. That's just exactly the way it's supposed to be. You know, how come there's no beans in this? Isn't well, you know, there that's chili what I, and beans? That's what I asked, but at it, 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 the cook-off, they won't allow you to put beans in, but how you come? have to have beans. That's because too many people so, aren't. So. <laughs> Oh, Barbara. Well, it's true. Barbara. And they had thousands oh. of people that oh. come there. This is, this is a family show, Barbara. But what, and what I, I did... You know, it's true. What? There's like two or three thousand people that show up for the cook-off. Imagine all those people farting. <laughs> Barbara. Nobody would come. Barbara, now be nice. So, we have beans right here that I cooked. Okay, so we're going is, against the green. This is two pounds of red beans, and we're going to put them right in there. You know what? Should you put them in a strainer? Because they're all watery. No, we're going to use a... Uh, I think we're going to use a, a, a thing. We have you know a, what? I have a lot of utensils. Oh, here, here's something. Here, look at this. Oh, that's terrific. It's got holes in it. <laughs> okay. So... So you stir and I'll put them in, okay? Okay, teamwork. Now this is really good. These are these are red beans. I bought these over at the ranch market. They're very expensive, you know that? It's so we couldn't market. win with this recipe no. because we're putting no. beans That's in. That's right. That's right. Oh, he turned that fire down. That's too it turned it to the left. That's girl. All the way. One more. Keep going. Right there. Good girl. Okay. I'll live that alone. All right. Okay, so then this is a lot of stuff. There's two pounds of beans here. There's two pounds of dry beans here. And they cook for an hour and a half. So I guess you plan on eating this for a while, huh? Well, yeah. Hey, there's a lot of people there. 
A lot of people. I guess. How's it doing? Okay. It's looking good, boy. You know, we probably ought to put them all in there, huh? Put them yeah, all in. The hey, hell. let's live dangerously. What the heck? What the heck? Throw we're them not, all in. We're not going to, we're not going to. Oh, gotta, thank you. It's exploding. You know, it looks like looks like looks like Yellowstone. Looks like Yellowstone Park. Oh boy! All right, all right. I turned the fire on. All is well. I never saw that before. Well, okay. Half teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of pepper, and one bay leaf. Where's our bay leaf going? Oh, here it is. I don't know. <laughs> Oh. 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 No, it's all right. It's all right because it's going to boil. It's going to boil. That's right, and the wine has alcohol, and that will sterilize right, it. Right, right. So it's a perfectly good bay leaf. All yeah. right. We don't have anything else to do, and that's got to cook for about 20 minutes now. 20 minutes. What about what's do happening under here? Well, that's got to cook about wow. 20 minutes, too. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> we're, still, we're still up there. What is that? This is turkey. Really? This is a this is a half a pound of cooked turkey. Cooked turkey. Yes, turkey breast. Don't I say breast. We're a family show. All right, all right, all right. We're in enough trouble with the lady from uh, standards and practices. Yeah. yeah Those the are the standards and practices. Standards yeah. Standards and practices. She's a nun. <laughs> One of these days, she's gonna come down here to the set, <clears throat> and she's gonna probably give you a piece of her mind. Okay. You won't have anything left. <laughs> uh, I gotta tell you though, the funniest uh, thing is that, you know, like locally people know us and all. So we went down to the market the other day after our personal appearance because he needed to get some stuff for our show that night. And um, we're standing in the market and he's going, look, that lady over there, she recognizes us. <laughs> look at that woman, she recognizes us. <laughs> I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> They were, they were staring. Probably to see such an old guy with a young broad. <laughs> yeah. No, this oh, is I... Newport Beach. That is not unusual. It isn't. Right? Yeah. Okay. You know what else? My cousin Eve sent us Roadkill Helper. Oh, boy. Oh. We were... We were, we were over in Las Vegas with 800 people, 800 people in the audience, and she brings this out. Oh, wow. Well, we were learning how to cook in an RV. Boy. So like roadkill RV, I think it blends. Yeah. Look, look, there's another foreign object. No, no. Boy. Is that how you onions. dice an onion? This is the way you dice an onion. It's supposed to be a cup of onions. But, um, well, doesn't it depend on how big your cup is? Yeah, it depends on how big the onion is. <laughs> but on these kind of recipes, on these kind of recipes, it doesn't really make a whole lot of difference, does it? Well, I think cup size is very important. Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh. Show me how it's done. Okay. Who's going to stir? Boy, that stuff You looks take the good. butter and you squish it in here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, so you have fat butter, okay? Right? Wait. Isn't that wonderful? This goes like this. Then you take this little plunger and you squeeze it so it comes out the bottom. And look, and it comes out in a line. What a labor saver. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, wow. Man. Oh. oh, boy. You know, this is the kind of thing they sell on TV late at night. For, for $19.95. Oh, boy. Isn't that neat? -o? That is neat. Now, we're going to see if it works. We're going to put some butter okay. in our rice. Squeeze it. I'm squeezing it. How do you... Well, wait. Then you just slice it. That is wonderful. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> well, wonders ever cease. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. We're going to stir that up. All right. And these look nice and green. Yeah, they're coming along fine. But you know they won't cook if you don't have them in the pot. <laughs> Instead of the garlic cloves, which are hard to 
take apart and peel and everything. We use this. And that this looks for, like glue. That's garlic. Okay. Oh, that is the worst unappetizing thing I have Just ever right. seen. <laughs> it reminds me of my pet bird. <laughs> says, Dear Barbara, the first time I watched it home on the range, I laughed so hard I wet my pants. <laughs> the second time I watched, I couldn't believe a woman could be so clueless in the kitchen. So what? Clueless. 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 That? That clueless. Bad? Yes, like having no clue without oh, I a see. clue. Okay. All, right. All right. And they say, I'm clueless. The, by the third show, I realized you were one of the most brilliant female power players around. Wow. By every, <laughs> oh. by acting painfully dumb, you had manipulated a smart, quote unquote, man into doing all the cooking. Now all I have to Got do is right. put on my Barbara Venezia act at home and presto dinners on the table. <laughs> On behalf of women everywhere, I say, keep burning that water, honey. And that's from Eve <laughs> Belson, who's an associate editor at Orange Cook. This is one can of beans, black beans, and uh, the onions. Put it in, it's making me tear. Is it? Is it? <laughs> oh, boy, that's what she said. Put it in. <laughs> oh, boy. Now, now we have one cup. <laughs> you all right? I hope you've enjoyed this look back at where we've been. In June of this year, we got our big break. CNN visited our set, and around the world, people heard about the crazy cooks in the garage. Eye to Eye with Connie Chung called John the sex symbol of the 90s. And HBO Entertainment News brought us into the international focus once again. All this has happened to us since June, and I can hardly believe it. And then there's the home show on ABC. We premiered on the home show as a guest June 16th, but executive producer Woody Frazier was so impressed, he asked us to be a regular segment each Wednesday. Because the home show is taped live, there have been those weeks when we've been bumped due to a lengthy guest or a natural disaster. But for the most part, you can find us each Wednesday on national TV, just being crazy. I guess we are the wackiest cooking show in America. We'll be back next week with another wonderful recipe. This is Barbara Venezia for At Home on the Range.